Well, Fawzi, looking ahead to Friday's King's Cup, you've got an enviable hand in the big race. If we go through each of your runners, starting off with the Anchorman Cup winner, Classical Wave. Classical Wave is obviously a nice horse. He came to us from the UK after a nice win on the July course in Newmarket. And luckily, we managed to win uh, an international race with him. He's in good form now. He's, he's the type that needs gaps between his runs, I think. But I think we've got him back to his best form. And he's improved with each start he's had in Bahrain. Do you think there's still more to come from him? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes. Well, he's rated uh, 100 now, I think. So uh, hopefully there's more to come from him. And the extra quarter mile, do you think that's a help or a hindrance? I think it's a big help for him. David Egan is on board. Is that his choice or is that your choice? Uh, both, really. Uh, David obviously won on him and he knows the horse well, so uh, why change? Mars Landing, two-time Bahrain Turf Series winner. Yes, he's uh, <clears throat> another nice horse that came up the ladder very quickly. I think he had very... He had uh, three or four races quite consecutively, uh, needed a break, and uh, I think that break has brought him on, hopefully. And his last two starts, fourth both times, were perhaps a little unlucky in running. He was unlucky in running, he had to come very wide and check about twice in the straight, otherwise he would have been, would have been a lot closer. I think. Do you feel there is still more to come from him, or rather than that he's reached his peak, is there still a bit more? With the uh, small break he's had, or a small gap in between races, all I can say is he looks a lot better. <laughs> and again, trip-wise, he's been running over 9 and 10 furlongs, up to 12 furlongs Friday. <clears throat> Looking at the way he was running, it, it doesn't seem to be an issue, hopefully. I could be wrong. Friday is the much-anticipated return of uh, 2020 Bahrain International Trophy winner, Simsir. Yes, he's uh, had issues, obviously. Uh, which took a while to get over. Uh, I think we got him back to where he was uh, uh, last year. How ready is he first time up in a, in a hot race like this? In a hot race like this, he'll probably need the run. He covers a lot of ground uh, with his stride. I mean, he's such a big horse with a big stride. So uh, we're hoping his fitness, might, he might get away with it. And his win, in the, the sensational win in the, uh, the Bahrain International Trophy, did, was that a, a shock performance to you? It certainly sort of took the European jockeys by surprise. It was definitely uh, <clears throat> a shock performance, but uh, it was always the plan uh, to go forward. But to actually see it pay off is always, uh, always a shock. In Courage is the big improver of the field, won three of his last four. Yes, uh, he's won them in different company or different class of company. This is a bit uh, deeper of a race for him, but uh, he deserves a chance to be in that race with the improvement he's been doing. How much do you feel he needs to step forward again? Oh, he'll need to step forward a lot more again in this caliber of company. Tuarek, another of your turf series race winners and, and won the King's Cup trial last time as well. He won the trial. That was over 11, and uh, I think that's the furthest he probably wants. He's the only one I'm worried about with the trip being 12 furlongs. I think his ideal trip would be 10 furlongs, uh, but he's here, there's nothing else for him, so we might as well have a shot at it. It is Zagato and Neil Callan, they've kicked for home. Zagato, a son of Frankel, and it, it was a Frankel-like performance last time in the, in the Bahrain Turf Series, demolished them. He was. I mean, he's, uh, he's not a big horse, but he obviously can run. And uh, I'm not worried about him with the distance or the ground. The ground is getting firmer with the weather getting a bit hotter, uh, which might suit some and, and not others. But uh, Zagaz is in good form. And how much more do you think there is to come from him? How much of a step forward do you feel he needs to make from that last run to, to be able to win a King's Cup? I mean, he's already come forward a lot since he's come from England. Uh, the gelding has definitely helped him uh, mentally and physically, I'd say. Uh, but he still needs to step up again, probably against my own runners. And looking at your runners, is, is there a, much of a pecking order in your eyes to them? It's very difficult to have an order, 
uh, I wouldn't mind any one of them winning. The King's Cup is obviously our main aim uh, throughout the season, uh, even before we had the international series. Uh, so the whole season is basically a prep for this day. Uh, hence why I've got everything in the yard running in that race. And looking at the opposition, are there any from outside your stables that, that you feel are tough competitors? Well, recovery run is a nice horse, but obviously he didn't run too well last time. But if he comes, if he bounces back to uh, how he performed those first two runs in Bahrain, he's, he's probably the horse to beat, I'd say.